Can one company lead an industry from the pipeline control room to the boardroom by standing for something greater than the bottom line? Unite communities with a commitment to a cleaner, more abundant energy future? Cultivate a workforce of dedicated employees with the grit and determination to succeed, no matter the obstacles? One company can. One Oak, the one in energy. We got together with Nick and we, we storyboarded everything and we did some animatics. Then we went to every location and kind of blocked out what we were going to be seeing and, and uh, who all was going to be in that shot and how it was going to look. And you know, we're going to do a lot of match cuts. So we wanted to be there to really talk it out because uh, match cuts can be difficult. Here we are, first shot of the shoot and first shot of the day, and we're getting ready to film um, one of our heroes walking towards the One Oak truck. So here we are um, at the pipeline facility, that's the name of it. And uh, yeah, we're gonna start to run through it. We're getting ready for our son to come up over that hill. It'll be a good morning. Hey Gary, action. It may be nice that we just, and then rotate the, the car a little more because then you're just gonna get the door open and then we jump in. And you've gotta have the glasses on and the earplugs in just to cover all the bases. Absolutely. Is it realistic that he'd have that in his pocket, is that fine? Well, here in the back pocket before we use it, Karen. I knew if Big Mike wasn't here, we'd be in trouble. <laughs> so this is a little uh, plate that we shot of uh, our action and we traced out the outline of the um, of the actor so that we can uh, stick this back on the uh, camera monitor later and match the exact frame weight um, with the shot. The film and the commercial is like uh, Oklahoma Natural Gas where everybody is specialized at what they do. Everybody has a job, specific job, and they do it very well and they're professionals at it. We were looking at about 105 and uh, so brought in the water cooler, kind of help keep things cool. At least, you know, somebody can go stand in front of it when they're just sweating or about to collapse. It'll uh, refresh, them, refresh them up a little bit. That's nice. We're just getting ready to do the Habitat for Humanity, the second scene. It goes in both spots. And so in this crazy heat, we're, we're trying to figure out the best way to approach it. Um, and I think we've got a good idea and we'll make it a little more people-centric. So we're going to bring our talent in and block with them and then light from there. Here we are showing how One Oak volunteers in the communities. We do a lot of work on habitat houses every year. Um, we build one, at least one, in the Tulsa area, and here we're gonna show how our employees get involved in those kind of community activities. So here we are in front of the One Oak building, and this will be the end of the spot opinion leaders. And we're just trying to figure out which one of these doors is gonna be best to use for our final dolly shot that matches the, uh, the one point perspective that comes before this. And I think that we're gonna end up going with the revolving doors. Should be a pretty cool shot. Got a lot of good options, I think. I was very pleased with how everything yeah, turned out. Yeah. Had a really strong crew. And I'm very proud of it. Like Excited that. for the rest of the week if it goes as well as today. Pretty good. Great. Here we are in day two, getting ready to do Centennial Park, and we're gonna have a beautiful sunrise shot. You can see the pink hues in the clouds, so you can always know that that's a good sign that you're gonna have a really gorgeous sun sunrise. We're gonna dolly across and pick up a family and then shoot a child being um, chucked safely into the air in very slow motion, and it'll match cut with an apple at a farmer's market. So it's gonna be a cool morning. So here we are in Maple Ridge, and we're doing uh, one of the more complex scenes of the shoot, and it's uh, the latter half of recruitment, and it's pretty cool. It's a it's a boy and a father that are racing um, to pull into the driveway, and there's a gentleman that's a neighbor that notices it, and it's just about community and uh, getting around obstacles, but it's, so to speak, at least metaphorically. I got to be the foreman and the dad in this one oak commercial. It's been a fantastic experience. The crew has been spectacular. Everybody that that I've met here has been great. I love everyone to death. Hope to work with them again soon. The, uh, the commercial itself is coming along real well. I'm, I'm really pleased with the speed at which it's going along and I've been invited to stay another day and, and work on the set some more which I can't get enough of. It's, it's addictive to me. 
Well, we end with this great shot that uh, we pan up and we see them come together and it's really this climactic ending Spielberg, if you will, of, you know, uh, the ending of that race scene. And, uh, you know, I think for One Oak, it shows uh, there's a family life, there's uh, energy, there's obstacles, there's things to overcome. And, and throughout this whole journey, we've seen this guy travel through the community and, and how much One Oak is involved in, in communities everywhere. So here we are, right in the middle of downtown, and we just finished uh, shooting right in front of One Oak Field here. And we wanted to try and highlight community, um, the you know the, the individuals like this officer over here who um, serve our community, but also speak to children. So we put the two together in a seat, scene at a crosswalk, and it went really well. We ran some cool options, and it'll end up uh, match cutting with our mural. We're on the third day of the shoot, uh, second location, and uh, this is going to be a tricky shot. We're looking uh, from the exterior of a building into the building, so we're going to catch a little bit of what's happening inside, but uh, we're also looking for a great reflection of this uh, intersection behind me, which is going to see, you're going to see the, the one oak truck that we've established, and we've got a great uh, semi that has uh, on the trailer painted, you know, powered by one. And uh, just across the street from that will be a mural shot. So we're going to catch all that in the reflection as we're also looking into this window and seeing this uh, businesswoman uh, look out the window. So it should be a great shot. So here we are in the boardroom and we just wrapped from uh, downstairs where we had our mural scene, which was a, a really cool scene. It was, it was definitely the most complex set of the shoot. I thought yesterday was going to be the most complex, but today turned out to be. We came up with a, a pretty fun and creative solution to uh, segue from the, the coffee shop and that's going to be we will see a uh, um, store owner coming out of the store and he's going to approach us and as he approaches us we rack focus from him to a book in the foreground where there's an empty coffee cup and then we are all of a sudden now in a boardroom and that empty coffee cup has now become a full coffee cup and the book that the student had at the cafe um, finishes opening because the student was opening it as I forgot to mention and a uh, gentleman in the boardroom opens it and then we rack focus to uh, a CEO at the other end who is walking towards us at the same speed that the um, cafe owner would be. So I'm excited to see it. It'll be pretty cool. Day four on the shoot for One Oak and uh, we did the two scenes right here. Um, well, we did like four scenes in this building, but we did two scenes within this hallway and the one uh, coming up that are like the intro and the, the outro to the spot and we have great shots of uh, reflections on, a, on some feet as somebody's walking in. We've got some energy and, and hustle and bustle so that we could really see what the interior of One Oak's light and what the beginning of a day would be like and then we have a flip shot if you will of uh, um, the exit and how that is also energetic and people are leaving the building. Here we are in the uh, city of Tulsa um, boardroom and we just finished our boardroom scene that has our hero that will be climbing in the opinion leader spot from uh, one position to the next and uh, came together really nice. We ended up taking four shots and turning it down to two and it came out much cleaner that way in my opinion. So what we have here is uh, we have a director's viewfinder. This allows me to simulate um, the camera lens before I actually throw it on the camera. So it's a lot easier to move this around than it is to uh, move the big camera around. So what we're going to do is we're going to compare it to the, the boardroom shot, which we did the other day. This is the uh, stenciled outline of the frame. We're going to match this frame to the frame here. Today will be a good day with finishing up at sunset and with a special effects shot, green screen, blue screen, against the city skyline. This time around, you know, we're doing one, still we're in the video, but uh, they're a lot more subtle, and uh, I, I encourage employees to try to count them and keep track of them, because I think they'll be, uh, make them a little more interesting that way. So we're here on our last day of shooting. This is after four long days. We're shooting new commercials, and the theme of it is one land. So it's important that people get who we are as a company, what we do and how we affect the community and those around us. It's been a great experience. The crew has been wonderful. The agency's great. Uh, the whole production crew, the camera guys. It's really cool to see all the work that goes into two 30-second spots. So I'm really excited to see how it happens. Well, this is my uh, first commercial shoot I've been on, and it's been really exciting. Uh, a lot of people uh, to thank. Uh, of course, my team, 
uh, the production crew, and granted they've only had a few weeks to put this all together, it's been pretty amazing that this is all really shaping up real well. So looking forward to seeing the final product, and thankfully the weather's been cooperative, a little hot, but uh, we've been up for it. Can one company lead an industry from the pipeline control room to the boardroom by standing for something greater than the bottom line? Unite communities with a commitment to a cleaner, more abundant energy future. Cultivate a workforce of dedicated employees with the grit and determination to succeed. No matter the obstacles, one company can. One Oak, the one in energy. Can one company energize an industry by fueling a more innovative workforce? Build a brighter tomorrow by rolling up its sleeves and providing a cleaner, more abundant energy source today. Inspire loyalty by constantly aspiring to be better in the workplace, in the community, and with customers. One company can. One Oak, the one in energy.